Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to Paper Terrace. If you're new, I'm Jessica. Today I am going to do a flip through of the mushroom journals that I've been working on for a while. They are available on my website right now. I do want to give a warning. Last time when I did a big journal release, my website kind of glitched a little bit. However, I think there was a lot more traffic then um than there will be today so i'm really hoping that everything goes smooth i do apologize in advance if that's the case um but basically just kind of keep trying and refreshing your browser and hopefully you'll be able to grab one of these if you are wanting one i only have nine available it was the most i could do because i put a ton of time into decorating them and making them super fun for you guys so I'm going to go ahead and start with the first one here. They're all a little bit different, but obviously same theme, the mushroom vintage theme. I used a lot of vintage and like handmade papers in these and a lot of fun ephemera. So this one right here, you can see this was um, a vintage sheet and there are seven signatures in this one. And there is a little tassel with a charm. And yeah, we're gonna go through these kind of quick. So this one on the website is gonna be labeled S1, S for shroom. And I'll just kind of do a quick flip through since I have nine to get through, but I use lots of vintage linens in these to create pockets. Like I said, handmade papers, lots of collage pockets and just a ton of different spaces for, you know, journaling and hidden journaling and pockets for photos and whatever the heck you want to use these journals for. I use some wax seals in some of them, lots of like envelope pockets. I did lots of like embossing for some of the papers I included. I use a lot of fun papers like um, vintage braille paper, vintage math, music, things like that. And I didn't, um, I did not fill in all of the pockets or places that you can put things because these are like a chunkier journal than my normal ones um, because that was kind of my old style. I went all out and I decorated every single page and I loved that, which is what I wanted to do. Um, they all have like a vintage little mushroom slide that I made. They're all different, different sizes and everything. Like fun collage pockets and Lots of lace sewn on them as well. Like this little tag here. I use some vintage mushroom book pages and then it's like a little pocket as well. I use a lot of Tim Holtz things in them as well. So that's S1. I'm gonna go through the next eight a little quicker. Another vintage um, mushroom fabric. I think it was a curtain. And then this one has this tassel. So this is S2. This is fun. I got this from the Junkin Journalers box. I included a lot of things that I got from her boxes, like vintage flashcards and things that you can collage and use these in however way, <laughs> in whichever way you want to. Lots of vintage wallpaper and Another reason I like to go through these kind of fast, I think it's just a lot more fun for you to get this journal. And then when you go through it on your own, there's just lots of fun surprises, a lot of interactive um, pages in here. I have like lace pages and you can get creative with these and do all kinds of things with them. Vintage or not vintage, but like antique photos. Um, another thing, if you purchase more than one item on my website, you'll also get a gift with purchase. You don't have to enter any code or anything like that. I will just automatically um, include it. It's going to be a little junk journal ephemera kit. I have other things on my website right now other than this, these journals. I have like some junk journal kits, tassels, um, I'm trying to think what else other little kits and things like that. So this one I loved, I was super excited to do windows on these ones. So this is like all laces. And then I'm trying to 
gonna show you the charm. It's a little hard, but. I had so much fun making these. I really wanted to make more, but like I said, I wanted to put so much time into them. I did lots of fun stitching on some of the pages. Like, you can see that. I wanted to make more because there were a lot of people interested. I have a feeling they're going to go fast as long as my website works correctly. Um, and I'll definitely make, I'll do this theme again because it's like one of my favorites to work with and create with. Anything botanical or mushrooms, lots of embossed like pockets and whatnot. Okay, so that was S3. I don't think I said that. S3. S4. Again, I use this vintage um, curtain. I think that's what... No, this one's a sheet. Anyways, this is the charm. And the tassel is just a bunch of different fibers. Muslin fabric, things like that. And I have little charms and things in here as well. These slides are really fun. I did a little video um, showing how to make these, which I don't think it's out yet, but it will be soon. So yeah, vintage. This is actually, these are from my grandma, these vintage like hankies. And I didn't want to use them, but I have so many and they're just sitting here not getting used. So, okay, now that you've kind of seen the style, I'm going to go through a little quicker because even though each one's unique, they're all the same style. You know what I mean? They have just about the same number of pages. Uh, there's two actually that have more pages and on the listing, I will go ahead and include that information along with the measurements because they're all a little bit different sizes. That was S4. S5 and they all have like tie closures as well. This one is, uh, what color is that? Green, a little green mushroom. tabs as well as the lace that's sewn on the edges just for fun. I loved doing these collage pockets as well using like either vintage map pages or things like that. Lots of tags in them as well like mushroom type tags stamping and stenciling. That was S5. S6. Love this fabric so much. There's that tassel. And the reason, so this has six, most of these have six signatures. Like I said, there's like two or three that have more. The reason I did six signatures, a lot of times I'll do like three or four. But I wanted to spread the pages out a little bit more because I think they're so much easier to work on. You can open them flatter. Um, they're just, it's just not as bulky. And since these journals are stuffed, they are going to get very chunky if you include or if you add like photos and things. Um, I, so I wanted to disperse the pages uh, a little bit more evenly throughout the spine. And that's just going to make it way easier to work in. And you will have room to add things like photos and any kind of memorabilia. But like I said, they are going to be a chunkier journal. Some of them have a thicker spine. And so like those ones will have more space. But that's why I included more pages in those ones. I'm trying to show you this one. I have this window. This is S7. I originally was working on 10 of these journals, more vintage lace, um, but I don't know what the heck happened to number 10. I really don't. It's here somewhere. I guarantee I got sidetracked. Um, I don't know. Couldn't tell you, but it's all right. Oops. Love the slides. They're so much fun, I hope. To see you guys make some of them. Oops. Fabric pockets. I just realized I'm filming way down here. So sorry. I think you can see though. 
vellum pockets. Lots of handmade paper. I, I ordered a bunch for these journals specifically. S7. Okay, S8. And like the way it says, and no, I just flipped that other little mushroom over. It was a cream colored mushroom. And then they, I also clipped on like little red mushrooms as well on the tassels. All the vintage laces on this one and the window. Whoops. I don't, oh, that is, yep. Okay. Lots of little, little collage doilies. And I gotta say, I got a lot of the handmade papers um, from Amazon and I love them. The quality is so good. And yeah, this braille paper is so much fun too. Little embossed like envelopes, fabric pockets. There you go. Okay, so that was S8. We have one more to go. Okay, this one's S9. Just in time. This one says dream. Okay. So even when I put like, you know, these vintage uh, postcards and whatnot in the pockets, remember when you're using this yourself you can take those out and replace it with something that you want to put in there and then maybe you can use the things that i put in here for a journaling layout or for another craft or you know like project whatever or you can keep it in here because maybe you like it it's totally up to you i used a lot of these uh napkins to do like collage pockets So, like I said, check out my website, even if you're not interested in the journals, I have some other things on there as well, some new printables and things like that. So I hope that you guys enjoy this collection. I had so much fun making it. Um, I am now getting ready to work on June's Patreon project, which is going to include vintage slides and some fun things there. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for your support. It means the world to me and I'll see you later. Bye.